We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Chicago Cubs and the Milwaukee Brewers. It's Brewers Baseball on the Show, and it's coming up next. Enrique Pinto gets the call for game one of the series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, this guy's had a solid year up to this point. It's not an easy thing to do in baseball this year with all the high-scoring games, but this guy has an ERA of sub-3, and that's saying something. If he continues to do that, I think you're going to see a really good performance out of him in this one. The first baseman. So in now for Chicago, Eddie James. He'll get to take his first cuts here. From the belt, kicks and deals. Line toward the alley in left center. And a dive, but it rattles in and out of the glove. Long throw to third. Side, 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 side. And he's safe. And as you see right there, this streak will continue as he inches forward up the all-time list. Digging in, Riley Green. And their runners at the corners now. Runners on the move for second. Pitch outside. The throw is there, and he's out trying to take second. I think that steal attempt was all about trying to stay out of the inning ending double play. But now there are two outs, so that makes getting that run home from third a lot more difficult. Digging in now for the Brewers, Enrique Pinto, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Pinto. Now ball to third, and they could get two. The tag gets one, and he is in there. And the runner from third crosses the plate. It's a 2-0 ball game. So coming to the plate, Eddie James. He singled his last time up. Here's the first pitch to him. It might be. It could be. It's gone. A home run. So a two-run shot to left center. Home run number 39 on the season for him. And with it, the Cubs have battled back to tie things at two. Well, d you know, they say records are made to be broken. And what a monster year this guy's had. Yeah, there it is, Dan. Most RBIs in one season. I can't begin to tell you as a former offensive player what that means. You want to put biscuits in the basket. Run scored in ribbies. Run scored in ribbies. Ready to take his hacks again. Eddie James as he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. Here comes the first pitch. Popped him up. McLeod has a play. He's got it, and there are two down now. Digging in the switch hitter, Adley Rutschman. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Adley. Runners off for second. Line drive snagged on a short hop. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Stepping in, Allen Bennett, a hit in two official trips to the plate to this point in the ballgame. He's running. And there's a line drive base hit to left field. The throw to third, but too late, and he's safe at third. Boy, there's another opposite base hit right there. Stepping up now, Eddie James. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. It doesn't look very... It might be. It could be. It's gone. A home run. Boy, this guy just keeps going on. His 40th home run of the season, and he's not done yet. He keeps this up. He's definitely going to be in the conversation for some of the year-end awards. as he notches his 10th save of the season right there. Nice job. And tonight's comes to an end, 6-3 to three the final. The Milwaukee Brewers took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end.
Enrique Pinto earns his sixth winning decision in this one. Reed Schaller retires the side to hammer down the save, his tenth. We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Chicago Cubs and the Milwaukee Brewers. Major League Baseball on the show starts now. Miguel Vargas will be the man on the mound for the Brewers. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, it just goes to show you how tough it is to pitch in today's game. This guy has a career ERA over five. At times he can be good, and at times he can be really, really bad. It'll be interesting to see that which guy shows up in this one here today. Eddie Jay. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. James is, of course, a switch hitter, and he uses that to his advantage. He's one of the few truly elite hitters in baseball, and that's true no matter which batter's box he stands in. Yeah, which absolutely blows me away. Though. It might be. It could be. It's gone. A home run. So it's a two-run shot to right center. 41st home run of the year for him as the Cubs are out in front now two to nothing. Well, it's obvious they didn't change their scouting report after yesterday's game. He had two bombs yesterday and another one today. Hey, this pace can't continue, but he's going to ride this wave as long as he can. Ready to take his hacks again, Eddie James, as he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. And that last at-bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball, so I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter, so I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. De La Rosa is over to his right as he puts this one now at the plate, Eddie James, he flew out in his last at-bat. Almost, Matty, almost went deep his last A-B, certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard to save it. Casto rounds third and is digging for the plate. And he's safe at the plate. And it's now a six-run lead. Boy, this guy's having a great game here so far, d -Row. Home run earlier in the night, and that base hit right there drives in his third run batted in of this game. Yeah, you drive to the park every day hoping your rhythm and timing is on point with that pitcher's windup. And that's exactly been the case today. He not only mixed in that big bomb, but now he's got three ribbies to boot. And the runner's breaking for third. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. They certainly know how to have a good time in Milwaukee, and I believe this may just be a brand new type of polka. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. Eddie James will stand in here, but before he does, let's take you back to the very first inning. This was a two-run home run right out of the gate that really got these guys off to a fast start. The pitch. Hard hit ball to short. Oh, and he can't come up with it. On to first, and a good stretch over there is going to get him by a step for the second out. Standing in, Jeremy De La Rosa. He's working on a one for three thus far. The 0-2 home. Softly on the ground to first. He's right there. There's one. On to first, and that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game, as there are quickly two away now. That's one of the hardest double plays to turn right there because of the difficult throw the first baseman has to make. No problem this time, though, and they get the two outs they were looking for. Yeah. 
stepping up to the plate, Eddie James. He got on top of one. It was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground. He hits it high. He hits it deep. It is out of here. So a three-run shot to right center field, his second of the game, as this is now a seven-run ball game. Second home run of the game right there. He is locked in at the plate. You hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing. Well, he is perfectly on. It seemed like everyone had a hand in this win, and that's usually the case when you win a game by eight runs. Feels good to dominate a game like that. 13 to 5 at the end of all the action. Chicago blasted five home runs in route to victory. Lincoln Cole takes the win on the mound, his second of the year. Miguel Vargas permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Time for the ball game. Four hours and 17 minutes. It's time for baseball on MLB Network. Today, the third and final game in this three-game series between the Chicago Cubs and the Milwaukee Brewers. Who will get the better of this compelling matchup? We'll find out next on MLB Network. Number 54, a left-handed Floridian, will get the starting assignment. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, Matt, if he were getting a chance to watch a guy that's been struggling a little bit lately, in his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.40, so he's going to have to cut that down, limit the amount of base runners, limit the amount of walks if he wants to have some success in this one here today. That in third. The first baseman. Coming to the plate now, Eddie James. He went deep last night twice. Come on, big guy. Keep it rolling. First pitch of the at bat. Fouled away. No one better. Stay hot now. Here's the 0 1 pitch. And there he goes toward second. Line toward the alley in left center. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. The relay, not in time, and he's in there with a double. And it looks like they're picking up right where they left off last night, where they posted some big offensive numbers. Well, he keeps the party going with a double here. Going to be a tall order to duplicate last night's performance, but they'll give it a try. Digging in, Brennan Davis. And a great chance here for the Cubbies to add on in just the first inning. A throw behind the runner at second, and he'll dive back in. And now the runner's trying for third. Pitch taken for ball four. The throw he is not in time. Pretty close, but he got in there safely. At this rate, he's going to set some kind of a record for walks issued in a game, or he'll get an early hook. We'll see if he can settle down here and start to find the strike zone, or if he continues to struggle. The next Cub up, Connie Major. And he's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. Major. 0-1, here's the pitch. On the ground to second base. This could be two. One there. Back to first, but it's right over his head. And now this ball's going to wind up out of play. And that'll compound matters even further. Into the box, Eddie James. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an AB, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Looks like the pitching coach is going to come out and have a word with him. Don't like to see that in the second inning, but once he makes sure he's okay physically, I'm sure it'll be just words of encouragement the rest of the way. Runners going. Pitch is popped up. Bennett has got it, and the side is retired. 
So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. The Cubs are on top, four to nothing. At the plate, Eddie James. Now he doubled earlier and carries a two for two line into this appearance. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Driven deep. At the wall, it is gone. A solo shot here to left, number 43 on the year for him. And the Cubs have now opened this up to a 5-0 lead. Boy, talk about when you're hot, you're hot. Gets two bombs yesterday and another long bomb so far today. When this guy gets hot, he's near impossible to stop. I'm not giving this guy a pick. <laughs> Coming to the plate now, Eddie James. And we'll see if he can get something into the gap to make it interesting. He's had a great game so far, but needs the triple to complete a cycle. The last at that, Matty D, we heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Center fielder going back. Leaps and he makes the catch. He took away a home run. Wow. Another look here as he goes up and over the wall to take away a home run. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Eddie James will stride in again, and you can bet he'd love to do again what he did back in the fourth. A solo home run here that's been the only long ball of the game so far. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Line towards center field. Come on, go hard. You're scoring. Go hard. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Cubs strand a couple. They lead it 5-4. to four. Well, that's not exactly how you draw it up. He gave up a long ball to make it interesting. But it was the only run he gave up, and he hangs on to collect the save. Seven to five, how today's comes to an end. The Cubs hosted a three-run first to propel them to the win. Jackson Rutledge earns win number four on the season. Number 54 was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. Adrian Morejon closes the door for the save, his fifth of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vass. Excursion. Thanks for watching MLB Network. Here now is our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Chicago Cubs. Seven runs on 12 hits. No errors. They left.